Midpoint formula proof. Begin with my two points. Call the first point P, second point Q. They're denoted x1, y1 for the first point, x2, y2 for the second point. Plot the third point in the middle of P and Q called M, which is the midpoint of P and Q. I will use the coordinates xm and ym to denote the midpoints. Once I can determine what xm and ym are, I'll have the midpoint formula. Draw a right angle triangle with the third vertice being r, coordinates x2 because it is directly below q, and y1 because it is directly across from p. If I plot a point S directly below M, it will have coordinates XM and Y1. XM because it is directly below M, and Y1 because it is on the line PR. Now, MS will be perpendicular to QR. So, we know that M is the midpoint of PQ, so PM to PQ should be in the ratio of 1 to 2, because it bisects PQ. And we also know that MS is parallel to QR. So we know that angle P is common to both triangles when we're looking at triangle PMS and PQR. And I know that angle PMS is equal to angle PQR, PMS is equal to PQR, because they are corresponding angles, and MS is parallel to QR. PSM is equal to PRQ, because they are also corresponding angles, MS is parallel to QR. That makes these two triangles, triangle PMS, this little triangle, and PQR, this big triangle, similar uh, because the three angles are equal. So PM to PQ, so a side of the small triangle to a side of the big triangle, should be equal to PS to PR, which is also a corresponding side of the small triangle to a corresponding side of the larger triangle. Now PM to PQ, we know from up here, is the ratio one, or is the fraction one over two, because M is the midpoint of PQ. PS is the distance here, which is XM minus X1. And PR is the horizontal distance from P to R, which is X2 minus X1. So if I cross multiply, I get X2 minus X1 is equal to 2, bracket, XM minus X1. Just swap the sides, because I want my XM to be on the left-hand side, because ultimately this will be the subject of my formula. Expand the brackets. 2xm minus 2x1 equals x2 minus x1. Bring the 2x1 to the other side. Minus 1 plus 2 equals plus 1. Divide by 2, and I've got my value for xm. We now need to do a similar thing for the y. So I found my x coordinate for m. I now need to determine my y coordinate for m. Uh, and once I've done that, I've found the midpoint formula. So I plot a point t directly horizontal from m that lies on the line qr. t has x coordinate x2 because it lies on the line qr, so it has the same x coordinate as each point there. And y coordinate ym because it is directly horizontal from M. So M is the midpoint of PQ. That means 
QM to QP must be equal to 1 over 2 parts because M bisects QP. And MT is parallel to PR. We know that angle Q is common in both the triangles. QMT is equal to QPR because they are corresponding angles where MT is parallel to PR. QTM is equal to QRP because they are also corresponding angles and MT is parallel to PR. That makes the small triangle QMT similar to the larger triangle QPR because all three angles in each triangle are equal. That makes QM to QP equal to QT over QR because they are corresponding sides in similar triangles. We've gone small triangle over big triangle should be equal to small triangle over big triangle. So I already know QM over QP, that's equal to a half. QT is equal to Y2 minus Y1. That's what I've got there as the numerator. And QR is equal to Y2 minus Y1, which will be the denominator. Cross multiplying, get Y2 minus Y1 on the left hand side, two bracket y2 minus y1, ym on the right hand side. Expand the brackets on the right hand side and then bring everything that was on the right hand side to the left and everything that was on the left to the right because I want to change my ym to be positive and on the left hand side. So whatever was positive becomes negative. Whatever was negative becomes positive. And whatever was positive on the left hand side becomes negative when it goes to the right. And whatever was negative becomes positive when it goes to the right. Then bring the 2y2 to the right hand side. That changes minus 1 into a plus 1. Divide by 2 to make ym the subject and you've got your y coordinate. If I then replace my ym with my y coordinate, I've got my midpoint formula, which is just x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 for my y coordinate. 